Hello everyone. So today's video, efficiency and how has um, the relatively large and expensive uh, electric batteries changed the auto industry's view of uh, vehicles and efficiency of design. So basically this, uh, this came about because yesterday I was out on an electric bike ride and I was looking over my bike and remembering the um, not just the the design process that I went through on it. So when I designed this bike, everything was designed to be uh, optimized for its intended purpose. For instance, the battery pack. I have a typical ride that I do that is uh, 14 miles, and um, this battery is actually good for close to 30 miles. The maximum ride that I do is I add another seven mile uh, area to that 14 mile ride. So, so it would be 21 miles. So this battery at full charge is good for 30 miles. I typically charge it to 90%. Even if I go on my 21 mile ride, I can make it home with plenty of battery capacity. Uh, yet, So it's big enough for everything I do, yet it is small enough to be lightweight and make the bike still um, very pedalable. Uh, this is the motor controller. It is designed for radio control airplanes. Uh, this is the smallest, lightest controller that I could get for its intended purpose. It has about twice the output potential that I ever use, but it's small and light and reasonably priced for what it is. The motor that I'm using here, it is a powerful enough motor uh, in this in this guise. Uh, I typically see peaks of eight or nine horsepower. It's actually got the potential of 14, but this is a powerful enough motor to give me all of the kick that I need while being not so overly powerful that it is uh, too heavy and too expensive for the application. So um, the pedal gearing, which is on the other side of the bike, is set so that at uh, if let's say the electric system dies, which one time I had a controller problem and I was about uh, oh, five miles from home, the gearing on the pedal side is will gear down low enough in first and second gear that I can still pedal the bike with the added uh, weight easily enough and um, to not use the electric system and yet it the gear range from first gear to ninth gear is broad enough that at full throttle with the electric system which is about 31 or 32 miles an hour on a full charge i can still pedal in ninth gear and keep up with it the suspension has just enough travel for the the terrain that i ride the tires are uh they are wide enough and a aggressive enough tread for what i need but narrow and thin enough to be light uh, and not add too much bulk to the bike and rotating mass. It's just, it's an optimized design. And this is, um, it's the same uh, as it is with, uh, with cars. Really any vehicle, over time, a design becomes optimized and optimization is really where it's at. And I got to, to thinking about, and I've thought about this quite a bit in the past, but I got to thinking about my Model 3 and about uh, other cars that I've owned, and it, it struck me that uh, the fact that, that batteries, lithium batteries are, well, batteries, any battery, is very, very large uh, as far as um, size versus uh, energy capacity versus, say, gasoline, a gallon of gasoline has a lot of energy density to it, whereas batteries have far less energy density per cubic foot of size. And uh, so batteries are relatively large and very expensive. And therefore, uh, electric vehicles, whether it be cars, motorcycles, whatever, are expensive to manufacture. But it is because of that large size and high cost uh, of batteries that uh, manufacturers have been forced to refine the design of vehicles for lower rolling resistance and better aerodynamics and better driveline efficiency and all of that uh, to maximize the use that that you can get out of every out of every kilowatt hour of energy in a battery pack and now 
let me back up and say uh, it would be better if batteries were smaller, more energy dense, and cheaper because electric vehicles would have been uh, in use much sooner than they are now and they would be less costly and all that. But uh, it has actually been, I, I would argue, it's been somewhat of a good thing that batteries have been heavy and expensive because of what I just mentioned previously that it has forced the auto manufacturers to uh, increase their their efficiency, both aerodynamic, mechanical, and driveline efficiencies and all that. And um, I, I kind of look at it similarly to uh, parents that are raising kids. And they you'll, you'll hear people often say things like, well, you know, we paid our dues. You know, early on, we, uh, you know, life was difficult. We really learned the value of a dollar. Well, when you're starting out life, you are, um, you don't, you're generally not earning much and you don't have established credit so any borrowing you do has a high interest rate and you go through all of that paying your dues and what that does is it it serves to um, to teach you and you, you you become you learn to become more efficient in your ability to earn and your uh, your spending habits and that and then as you as you grow and you earn more and you know credit is cheaper and all of that uh, all of a sudden you you go into that time of, of life and realize that you are better equipped to handle where you are and if um, if you start a young person off with a lot of revenue and inexpensive living, then they're not really going to value a dollar. And you know, again, I go back to I, I really think that that is the case with with vehicles. Now, I would have rather had batteries be smaller and more energy dense and cheaper, so that we could have electric vehicles in use more. But there there is a bright side to the large size and high expense of the batteries in that whole realm of. It has driven vehicle design and um, efficiency forward. A similar thing with gas cars uh, as uh, federal regulations, at least here in the States, well, and abroad as well, worldwide, has been pushing for better energy efficiency. It's forced the manufacturers to uh, work on their aero and their engine efficiency, and uh, Mazda's doing some great things with, uh, with combustion engine efficiency, and uh, you know, rolling resistance, you know, tire manufacturers and that have been forced to improve their tire designs. And so it, uh, I think that um, it's a very good thing to push forward for efficiency. I would rather see high efficiency than very cheap batteries and cheap gas because cheap batteries and cheap gas just means that we can all be more wasteful and uh, you know, not worry about aerodynamic design and mechanical efficiency and electrical efficiency and combustion engine efficiency and all that, and we can just waste resources. Um, if energy was very, very cheap, either battery pack or, um, or gasoline. <clears throat> we have relatively inexpensive gasoline here in the States, so we still have big powerful vehicles here and that, but it is getting more expensive. And so again, I would rather have, um, have efficiency than to have cheap resources, just because of uh, the fact that that means we'll use up more resources. And uh, you know, some resources are finite, some are, are infinite, you know, sunlight and uh, that kind of thing. But uh, much of our resources are finite. And so we need to be careful in how we use them. So anyway, just my thoughts for the day. I wonder what you guys think about this. So let me know in the comments section below. As always, my referral code will be a link in the description below. And uh, yeah, you guys have yourselves a great day. Take it easy. Oh, I'm going to get attacked in the comments section for this.